Hey Gemini, this is Alex. I'm here to bring you your gravitational reading. <laughs> I'm here to bring you your weekly love reading. I um, hope you guys are doing well. Remember, readings are timeless. Energy is fluid. And roles may be reversed. And this is for Gemini. Wherever you have Gemini in your placement. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, uh, uh, Mars, Neptune, Uranus, North Node, South Node. Wherever you have Gemini. Okay? Okay. All right. Y'all got the six card. Look it, look it, look it, look it, look it. You got Pisces here. You got Pisces here. You got Mr. Capricorn here. You got some fire energy. You got Virgo in the Hermit. In a Hermit position. I hope that's in frame and it is not. So I'm going to have to move these cards because y'all got special on me. Y'all got special on me and y'all chose. Look at this. The extra card. You got Scorpio there too with the tower. Okay. Let me do it this way because y'all can't see all these cards. I'm going to do it this way. We're going to have a funky good time of a reading. Gemini, okay? So, Ten of Pentacles. You're happily ever after. Your financial security. Your long-term goals. Oh, for a lot of you, you're communicating that. You are having, oh, you're thinking in deep thought. Angels just said you're in deep thought about it. It's like you're getting real serious and real honest. I do kind of feel like, I don't feel like there's a monkey wrench in your game plan. I feel like you're creating one though, Gemini. Hey, that just flew out. I love it. You got a lot of swords in this reading. Somebody is in their heads. I wonder who it is. Miss Air, Mr. and Mrs. Air Sign. You got the Seven of Swords twice. You got the Ten of Swords. Jeez Louise, Gemini. What is going on? You got the Queen of Swords. You got the Ace of Swords. Good stars almighty. You've been cutting people. Look at all them damn swords. One, two, three, four, five. Hoo-wee. Don't put no more swords on this table, guys. <laughs> Prince of Swords. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Y'all see how much pull I got over my angels? They're like, have fun. Queen of Cups. Nice, though. And the Prince of Pentacles, which is awesome. Right? So, you got a lot of stuff going on. This is the funkiest reading that you guys are going to see all day, right? Because this is not even a legitimate spread. I can guarantee this is not a legitimate spread. I don't know what's going on. But we're going to read these cards. I will tell you that. Yes, we will. Okay. Uh, the, ten of, the Ten of Pentacles. Let's talk about it. Yeah, a lot of you are thinking about long-term. Long-term money, long-term goals. Starting a business, you know, um, investing money. Buying a house, buying a car. Well, not really buying a car. Invest in money. You're starting to look at your uh, long-term situation. You're starting to take it more seriouser, right? With the Ace of Swords, which I absolutely cannot pick up. I'm struggling to pick up. With the Ace of Swords, this is living in your own truth. But also at the same time, this is you seeking clarity, you know, providing somebody with clarity, being very freaking clear, about what it is that you want, what it is that you're going to put up with, and also what it is that you are not going to put up with. Now, when we talk about putting up with stuff, right? This is Pisces, right? The hanged man. Um, for a lot of you, I kind of feel like you are trying to be a little bit more flexible. You're trying to, like, relinquish the, con the control. Trying to, you know, give the universe the driver's seat and see where it's going to take you. It's kind of hard for you, though, um, Gemini. Yeah, because you're an air sign. You want to know where and what and how everything is going to happen, right? But to an extent, that tends to get in your way sometimes because it's almost like you obsess over the outcome, right? Oh, angels just say you just told, told one of these secrets. 
right? Because it's almost like you you pretend to be this happy-go-lucky, everything's good, everything's fun, blah, 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 whatever happens, happens. But secretly, deep down, you are stressed the fuck out, Gemini. <coughs> Excuse me, right? Capricorn here, right? Mr. Mr. Beelzebub and also, you know, my fuckboy, the Knight of uh, Wands, right? So for some of you, um, deep down inside, this could be, you know, it's almost like maybe you're thinking about long term and you're trying to relinquish control. You're trying to like, you know, be a little bit more balanced. You're trying to level things out. It's like, oh, let me stop thinking so much. Excuse me, I'm coughing and yawning. I'm just all over the damn place. Um, you're thinking, it's almost like, let me stop thinking so much about this dude or this chick that I'm with. Let me go take myself down over here to this subdivision and look at these houses or down and look at this car. Right? It's almost like you're trying to break away from the fact that you want to jump somebody's bones. Their bones, their meat, their tissue, their organs. Like, um, not only that, but what I'm also getting to is that um, this is you. This is your kind of quote unquote fire and desire. Um, and I feel like this is the undercurrent. This is what's going on with you deep down inside. You're trying to kind of keep yourself busy, again, with long-term goals. And every now and then, I kind of feel like maybe when you can't handle it, you kind of go off on your own. This is Virgo. Kind of go off on your own. You, you know, kind of meditate. You kind of woosaw. You kind of, all right, let me calm down and let me get my life together. Right? And then the Nine of Pentacles, you're successful at it. You get it done. And then you come out the gate swinging again. Right? Angels just said to me, they're shaking my head. They're like, now let's talk about your person, right? This is somebody who either cut you off or you cut them off. Um, because they're, you know, there's deception here with the seven of swords. <clears throat> and the deception, Scorpio, kind of came out of nowhere with uh, the tower, which is Scorpio, not deception, but the tower being Scorpio, right? Right? Um, it, you know, something kind of hit you surprisingly that kind of broke y'all apart, broke y'all down, caused you to cut this person out. So it's almost like something happened that was deceitful and you got rid of this person, right? But your person, you know, kind of, it was kind of like the straw that broke their back. It's almost like you letting them go, you separating from them, really, really, really jacked them up. Now, mind you, I'm sitting here reading for Gemini, which is an air sign, and there are ten swords in this person's back, which represent air as well. Swords represent air, right? So your person, I kind of feel, is left with your words. Whatever your last words were, whatever the argument was, whatever, you know, the words that were spoken... It's almost like they're replaying them in their head over and over and over and over. What's unfortunate about that is that's what's actually keeping this person down. So you cut them out and they cut themselves out also. Or they broke themselves down. Or you cutting them out broke them down. The thing that I like about this card showing up in all these damn swords is that with the Ace of Cups, there's an opportunity for new love and love to grow, right? Love to grow and love to kind of resurface. But it's almost like, is it going to resurface in the same old environment that it just kind of came from? Which is Seven of Swords. You got the Seven of Swords here twice. You got the Seven of Swords under the tower, right? So is that, you know, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me? Like, are you going to go down this road again? Gemini, right? I don't know. Let's see. You got the Prince of Swords and then you got the Queen of Cups, right? This person, you know, the Prince of Swords maybe comes back in with an apology or some sort of minor communication like, I love, did you? I'm sorry, you know? And maybe that's it, by the way. You know, I'm sorry. But with the Queen of Cups here, to me, it's almost like, is that all you need, Gemini? Do you just want like a sincere apology? And the, the, it's the, the um, Page of uh, Swords and the Ace of Swords here, right? But the Page of Swords to me is like, 
it's not like the king of swords the king of swords is coming in like look i'm sorry i, I did this i did that like the king of swords is gonna run down everything he did but the page of swords may just be like i'm sorry he <laughs> he you know can i come over right like it gives you that minor apology but then also at the same time there's a level of immaturity there there's an, a level of youngness young mindedness in there you know what i mean but you know with the queen of cups here you know and, and again the ace of cups here it's almost like they're doing that or they're offering that because they love you or when they do that that actually opens your heart again but i'm gonna hold this card back up the seven of swords do not fall for the okie doke again gemini right the page of pentacles make them work for it right um, you got pages here and then you also have the five of cups as well. So it's almost like, do they come in and apologize and then you get all in your feelings. But then when you start thinking about it, when you, when y'all start progressing, do you get hurt? Do you hurt yourself all over again? Right. And then you have the emperor under there, which is the one who basically says like, look, what is it going to be? What is the new rule? How is it going to be going forward? You know, and Gemini, I kind of feel like that is all up to you, okay? It's absolutely all up to you because, again, um, and what I just heard, it's like out of all of the thinking that you're doing, that's not even what you're thinking about. As in, you're not even thinking about, okay, what is it going to be going forward, right? You may be uh, stuck on getting the apology, reopening communication, you know, getting your person out of this particular position. But when it comes to going forward, don't fall for this again, right? Not only that, but what I'm also getting as well, if, you know, it's almost like don't proceed. Do not open your heart, right? I'm not telling you guys what to do. These are just suggestions. But it's almost like be very careful about opening your heart and giving this person pieces of your heart if they have not already apologized, right? If they have not already apologized, they need to go sit their asses down, okay? And <clears throat> come correct, okay? So that is your weekly love reading, Gemini. I hope it resonates. If it does, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye.